Korea CCAS readers, this is Samantha Ross here with Anastasia Vinikova from Belarus singing appropriately enough, I love Belarus. How are you doing? Fine, thanks. And you? Pretty good, pretty good. A little tired, but long day. Uh, how are you enjoying Dusseldorf so far? Well, I really enjoyed being here, so I really love this country and the people. I visited Berlin two years ago, so actually it is the second time, and I really like being here, so oh, cool. So, um, why don't you tell me a little bit about your song, which is, you know, the reason that everybody's, everybody's here. Well, for yeah, us. you know, I think that the main message in my song is about a young girl's love uh, to her country, so this love makes her stronger and stronger every day. So, I think that it's quite actual topic because, uh, well, a lot of famous singers dedicated their songs to the countries where they were born. Mm -hmm. So, I was born in Belarus and I'm fond of and proud of my country, so uh, why not? What makes you proud to be Belarusian? Well, you know, I think that Belarus is a great place to visit. First of all, there are a lot of historical towns and um, a beautiful old, old, old churches and beautiful narrow streets not far from Minsk. Visitors may enjoy uh, the beauties of Nesvizh and Mir, for example, in Nesvizh. Uh, there is also there is an impressive old castle of a well-known Radzivill family, which is also a museum. Mm -hmm. And you know that Belarus is a must for tourists who enjoy a peaceful and quiet life in the countryside. Yes. Yeah, and uh, I also think that uh, there are a lot of um, villages of the 19th century, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, where you can enjoy, where you can see our um, national um, colorful festivals and uh, try our national cuisine. So um, if we speak about the city of the country, mm -hmm. I think that the city of our, of our country has its own atmosphere uh, of the, where the past and the present exist side by side. So visitors may enjoy um, the uh, the visitors may enjoy the, uh, the, uh, this um, spirit of the past in the old town mm -hmm. and at the same time the hustle and bustle of a modern Minsk with its okay. new symbols and um, with the new symbols of the country such as uh, the National Library and Minsk Arena which will host European Hockey Championship in 2014. Awesome, I'm a well, fan. Yeah, yeah. And also I think that um, Belarus is uh, well known for its beautiful nature. There are a lot of clear lakes and rivers and thick and Asian forests and so um, um, I also think that um, there is uh, there are a lot of nature reserves where you can see unique European bisons so I think Belarus is a great place to visit I, I, I am I'm proud of its uh, beauties and of its cultural traditions and heritage so Awesome. I, I, I've never, I've never yeah, been. Yeah, welcome. Here. Thank you. I mean, I'm part Belarusian, so you're giving me more of an incentive to, yeah. to check it out. Welcome, soon. welcome. Thank you. You know, I, I, uh, all Belar Belarusian people are very um, hospitality, hospitality, uh, hospitable. Hosp hospitable. Yeah. yeah. So, um, they, and they are well known about about this. Awesome. So welcome. So you're um, you're not just a singer, but you're also a student uh, of translation. Yeah, yeah, is that correct? yeah, yeah. Do you feel that your experience working in you know translation so a lot of you know, multicultural well, it's, it's helping you in, in your Eurovision experience? Yeah, you know I studied languages, mm -hmm. uh, English, and this year I started to learn Spanish. Mm. Well, yeah, well you know I think um, it's um, it is necessary because to be confident in abroad you should know languages. So to be you should be flu you should fluent be fluent in, in languages. Yeah. So that's why. Have you been? Have you had a chance? Well, I'm not sure if she's arrived yet, but you should get to uh, to know the Spanish representative and. and the Spanish. Is, well, I have already, I, I have studied only this year, so okay. I um, well I think um, it's widely important. It's it's uh, it's widely spoken language, and so I like I like this language. I like um, the songs, and I I think that one day I'll sing in Spanish as mm -hmm. well. So you yeah. can say me encanta de la Yeah, hola, que tal? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Now, as we all know, you know there was a, a little bit of a, a not a controversy, I should say, but you know, um, figuring out what you would actually be singing here. You started out with uh, "Born in Belarus," then yeah. "I am Belarusian," and yeah. now "I love Belarus." Yeah. What was going so on? So I like it. I like the second version much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I so think it's it's it's, it's, it's the best. Yeah. Excellent. So I know that there's also, well, of course, there's the English version, which we'll be hearing on the second semifinal on the 12th of May. Uh, there's also the Russian version of I Love Belarus, and there's a Belarusian version. Yeah, Belarusian, yeah. 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 Uh, can I ask you to maybe sing? Of course, uh, yeah. 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 Я отживаю, як легко быть смотной, Кали со мной бьются сердце усих, Живе кто в нашей краине свободной, Хетких жаек я, ширых молодых. 
Beautiful, beautiful. Thank well, you. All the best to you. Thank um, you. Can't wait to see your performance. Uh, if yeah. you haven't had the chance to check out our clip of her first rehearsal, it's on ESCcast.com. It looks fantastic. Oh, thank you. And uh, yeah, all the best for everything. Enjoy thank you very here. much. Thank you. I promise I'll do my best. Uh, and I hope that all the audience here in Europe and in Germany will enjoy my performance. Fantastic. Yeah. All the best, Janice. Thank you. Bye.